ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. It is a quadratic expression. Equation. Equation. Cat replica quotient. 1 root is 2 plus root 3. 1 root is 2 plus root 3. Find the quadratic equation. Find the quadratic equation. Options I will give. A cat replica question. Cat replica question. We will start with a conceptual question. First one. X square minus 4X plus 1 equal to 0. Second one. X square minus 4X plus 2 equal to 0. Third one. X square minus 4X plus 7 equal to 0. Fourth one. Cannot be determined. Cannot be determined. Ax square plus bx plus 0. 1 root is 2 plus root 3. Find the quadratic equation. Right. So many students. Many many students. Will tick mark the answer to be x square minus 4x plus 1. Equal to 0. It is because of lack of conceptual clarity. They are not good in concepts. They just mug up the concepts. Mem they are the students who love to memorize. They lack the conceptual clarity. Right? So what they will do is, if one root is directly they will write, they got back teachers in their subject, in their school or in plus 1 and plus 2. If one root is p plus root q, if one root is p plus root q, other root directly they will write it as p minus root q and they will use this equation as x square minus of alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta equal to 0 so it is x square minus 2 plus root 3 plus 2 minus root 3 into x plus 2 plus root 3 into 2 minus root 3 equal to 0 so they will tick mark the answer to be x square minus 4 4x plus 1 equal to 0 which is a mistake which is a mistake they are doing it because they do not know the exact concept please write down the concept concept is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 only when a b c are rational only when a b c are rational one root is p plus root q one root is p plus root q another root will become p minus root q only if one root is p plus root q another root will become p minus root q this is only possible when a b c are rational it is only possible only when a b c are rational nothing is specified about the question if nothing is specified about the question a b c will be real numbers if a b c are real numbers it can be an rational number or it can be an or it can be an irrational number rational number or irrational number so answer for this question is cannot be determined uniquely please write down sir very easy question but because students are not at all good in concepts or they just memorize and got good marks it is a mistake which you do only because of lack of conceptual clarity lack of conceptual clarity remember only if a b c are only if a b c are rational if one root is p plus root q other root will become p minus root q only when one root is p plus root q another root will become p minus root q it is <coughs> only possible it is only possible when a b c are rational only when possible when a b c are rational please put a star mark on this so answer for this question is cannot be determined uniquely if one root is 2 plus root 3 another root could be minus 2 plus root 3 or 2 minus root 3 you will get two values you will get two values so answer is cannot be determined uniquely one question number 13 i hope it is clear very very important question question number 14 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन ओरिजिनल स्टाफ सिलेक्शन कमीशन क्वेश्चन एक्स इक्वल एंड टू रूट फाइव प्लस वन वै इक्वल एंड टू रूट फाइव मैनस वन आलरे सर्ट वी डिस्क हाउ टू साव द्वेश्चन वाट द वैल्यू आफ वाट द वैल्यू फर् आफ एक्स बै वै हॉल स्क्वे एक्स बै वै हॉल स्क्वे प्लस वै बै एक्स हॉल स्क्वे एक्स बै वै स्क्वे वै बै एक्स स्क्वे प्लस फोर इंटू एक्स बै वै प्लस वै बै एक्स प्लस सिक्स प्लस सिक्स ओरिजिनल स्टाफ सिलेक्शन कमीशन क्वेश्चन ओरिजिनल स्टाफ सिलेक्शन कमीशन क्वेश्चन एक्स इक्वल एंड टू रूट फाइव प्लस वन वै इक्वल एंड टू रूट फाइव मैनस वन राइट एक्स बै वै हॉल स्क्वे प्लस वै बै एक्स हॉल स्क्वे प्लस फोर इंटू एक्स बै वै प्लस वै बै एक्स प्लस सिक्स आपशन थर्टी वन ट्वेंटी थ्री रूट फाइव ट्वेंटी सेवन रूट फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी वन ट्वेंटी थ्री रूट फाइव ट्वेंटी सेवन रूट फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव नौ सी हियर how the traditional how the students will solve which is a very wrong way to do it or probably they will get the answer but it will take a lot of time traditional way x by y they will do root 5 plus 1 by root 5 minus 1 they will rationalize with root 5 plus 1 and root 5 plus 1 you will get 6 plus 2 root 5 by 4 Similarly, they will do y by x root 5 minus 1 divided by root 5 plus 1 into root 5 minus 1. They will do it. It will take a lot of time. So it is nothing but 6 minus 2 root 5 by 4. They will square it and add it. Square it and they will add it. It takes a lot of time. This is a traditional method. This is a traditional method. I hope it is clear. It will take a lot of time. Method two, method two, method two. Listen carefully. We discussed a perfect square. A perfect square never ends with. A perfect square never ends with two, three, seven, or eight. A perfect square never ends with two, three, seven, or eight. so this entire expression if you just think little logically it is nothing but x by y plus y by x plus 2 whole square this is nothing but this one if i call it as a and if i call 2 as b so it is nothing but a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2ab so first will become x by y plus y by x whole square Plus two square plus four into x by y plus y by x, which is nothing but x by y whole square plus y by x whole square plus two plus four six. This is nothing but the question. Four into x by y plus y by x plus six. This is nothing but a perfect square. So what is the answer option, which is a perfect square? Answer option, which is a perfect square. Check which is the answer option, which is a perfect square. Now a perfect square ending with one. Tens place should be an even number. Irrational cannot be a perfect square. Answer is twenty five. Answer is twenty five. Original staff selection commission question. Right. Answer is twenty five. I hope it is clear. Right. A perfect square never ends with two, three, seven, or eight. So this equation is nothing but. This equation is nothing but right x by y plus y by x whole square. This method, this method, if it is kindly avoid this method, it is a time-consuming approach. You will get the answer. You will do step by step, but you are not playing the game right to win. You are playing the game just to score. 
time consuming method this is method 2 i hope method 2 it is clear right a perfect square a perfect square never ends with 2 3 7 or 8 method 2 method 3 whenever we got thirds problem we did an approximation let us do method 3 please write down method 3 method 3 i hope method 2 is clear right method 3 method 3 sir we discussed an approximation can we do that one yes definitely we can do it in third related problems root 5 plus 1 y is nothing but root 5 minus 1 root 5 is nothing but 2.236 so let us take 2.2 it is nothing but 3.2 it is 2.2 minus 1 it is 1.2 So if I take x by y, which is nothing but 3.2 by 1.2, which is 32 by 12, four eights are four threes are. So it is nothing but 2.66. Y by x is nothing but 1.2 by 3.2, which is nothing but 3 by 8. It is 0.375. Y by x is very small. Y by x is very small compared to x by y. y by x is very small compared to x by y so what we can do is we can eliminate y by x so the question is question is nothing but x by y whole square plus y by x whole square plus 4 into x by y plus y by x plus 6 y by x we can eliminate it so x by y it is nothing but 2.6 whole square Plus four into two point six plus six. They are all approximate values. It is nothing but seven, six, and it is nothing but ten point four. It is nothing but six. So it is just close to twenty three. So answer should be very very close to twenty three. Answer is twenty five. I hope it is clear. Approximation method. Approximation method x is root 5 plus 1 root 5 is 2.2 plus 1 3.2 y is root 5 minus 1 2.2 minus 1 1.2 x by y is 2.66 y by x is 3.0375 point 3 is very small compared to 2.6 so y by x that point 3 square add 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 I will get a some value. X by Y is 2.6. 2.6 whole square is 6.76. Y by X is very small. 4 into 2.6 plus 6. 6.76 plus 10.4 plus 6. Answer should be just grow closer to 23. Answer should be just closer to 23. What is the value which is just closer to 23 in the option answer is 25 i hope it is clear either you can do an approximation either you can do an approximation or you can write convert into an algebraic expression or you can do thirds and indices method or you can do thirds and indices method method 1 is rationalization method which is very very time consuming method method 1 is rationalization method method 2 is converting into an algebraic identity method method 2 is converting into an algebraic identity which is here in this case a plus b whole square method 3 is approximating the irrational number if you ask me method 3 is the best method it takes less time approximating the approximating the irrational number if you approximate the irrational number this will take less time and this will take less space less time and less space these are three methods you can choose any method that comes into your mind method 1 is rationalization method 3 is algebraic entity method 3 is approximating the irrational number approximating the irrational number i hope it is clear right
you can learn any subject anywhere any place and on the go come let us go the other way in learning download our revolutionary app for free amc